Hey everyone, it's Ashley here for your next stamp and I am back to share another episode for the Stamp Create Repeat series. Today I'm going to be making this really cute scene card. I absolutely love making scene cards and when I saw those train stamps, I just had to make a sweet little card using them. So I'm just showing my card up close and then I'm going to show you all the products that I used and I'll get right into the process video. And I will link all of the products below for you so you can find them in the Your Next Stamp store. So that is my card and I'm gonna share with you the products I use. So first off, I use the Your Next Stamp ink and this is the Premium Dye Ink. It is the Olive Black. I love this ink so much. It is definitely my favorite black ink that I have. And I'm also gonna be using these little wires snips and these are awesome for the die cutting. I love them so much and I also use these Your Next Stamp gumdrops. I use the Crystal Clear and Sparkle and I did that just to add some accent on the top there. They look so cute and they are sparkly. That set comes with half sparkle and half clear. And then this set is so pretty. It's called Enchanted Garden and I use the teal, green, and also the purple on the little wheels there of the train. And it just gives it some really cute dimension. For the stamp sets, I use this first step set, which is the All Aboard Spring Carts, and I just love this new set. It is so cute for spring. So I use that little basket, I use the little egg carts, those little sweet chicks at the top there, and I also use the little bow on that elephant. This set has coordinating dies, which can be purchased separately. This set is the All Aboard bunch of happiness and this set is another cute one that coordinates with the last one I showed and I use those two sweet little chicks there to put in the little Easter egg carts. One has a little bow and the other has Easter egg ears and I also use the sentiment from that set that I had shown before. This one also has coordinating dies which you can purchase separately. The next set that I used is so stinking cute. This one is stacked with fun. That is where I got that sweet little elephant from and it also has coordinating dies that you can purchase separately. The next die, which I am so in love with, this is the train track die. And if you purchased any of the train sets in the re new release, or if you are planning on buying the train sets, you totally need the train track. It is so cute. And it's definitely my favorite part about this card is the little train set tracks. So that is the spring grass die. I also used these dies for the stitching on the card. This is the stitch rectangle die set and I used that for both of the little panels here and I just love the stitching on it. It's really nice. So I'm just showing you the stitching there. And that is all the products that I used for my card. So I'm gonna get started with the process video. So to start out with, I'm going to stamp out my images. I'm gonna stamp out this sweet little elephant and I am using the Your Next Stamp Olive Black Ink. Then from the next set, I'm just gonna stamp out these cute little chicks there, the one with the bow and also that one that has really cute little bunny ears. From the next set, I am stamping out that little bow which I'm going to put on the elephant later. I stamp out two of those little Easter egg cards. It's so cute. And then I stamp out two different little chicks and this little basket cart, which is precious and part of my favorite part to color on this card. Then I just stamped out some butterflies there. And now I'm going to do the Copic coloring. So for the little chicks, I am using Y38. And I'm blending that out with Y35. And this is one of my favorite yellow color combos. And then I'm gonna blend that out with Y32. And then I do the same color combo for these other two chicks. I use again Y38, Y35, and Y32. For their little beaks, I use YR04, YR02, and then I go in with YR07 just to darken it a little bit more. Then I do that sweet little elephant. I am using C4 for the darkest portions. 
And this elephant is so, so cute. You could totally use this little elephant for a baby card. He just looks so snuggly and you could put the little bow on his neck like a little baby boy or you could put the pink bow on her head. She's just so cute. So I'm blending that out now with C2 and then I go back in with C4 just to darken up that darker bit a little bit more. And then I'm just doing the little feet there and blending that out with C2. And for the cheeks, I go in with R20 just to give them a little bit of pink. And I just blend out the cheeks with a little bit of C2. Then for the little part of the ears, I'm using RV13 and RV11. And then I go back in with a little bit more pink for the cheeks. And then taking my black jelly pen and I just wipe it off on the side of my paper and I'm just using that to add some glossy to the eyes. And I take the white jelly pen for three little dots on the elephant's cheeks. For the bow, I'm using RV14, RV13, and RV11. And then for those little bunny ears, I'm just using W1 for a little bit of a shade to the ears. I use RV11 and RV13. And then for that bow, I use BG13 and BG10. Then for the Easter egg, I'm using YG06, YG03, and YG00. And I'm doing that on the wheels as well. And I love that green color combo. It's a nice lime green color. Then I'm just showing I'm going to be using those Your Next Stamps sprinkles for the little wheels so I don't color those in. For the purple I used BV02 and BV01 and blended that out with BV00. I then went in with BV13 just to give it a little bit more of a darker shade and blended that out with BV2. And then I use that same purple color combo for this portion of the Easter egg. And then I'm using BG13 for these little wheels and BG10. And then I'm just blending that out a little bit more I end up adding in a little bit more of the BG13 and I can't get the blend that I really wanted so um, I moved on to the Easter egg which I use BG13 and BG10. And then what I do is the tip to tip technique where you take the darker marker and touch it with your lighter marker and then you get a color in between the two of them. And so I go back and finish the egg and then I do it to the wheel as well. And that's just a little tip or like a little trick to um, get a color if you don't have a color in between those two and it won't wreck your marker at all. Then for the butterflies I use RV04 and RV02. Then for the other butterflies I use YR14, YR02 and then to darken it up a bit I use YR07. Then I take my R20 and add some little cheeks on those chicks and add one little white dot on each of their little cheeks. And then I take my black jelly pen just for those two chicks little eyes and it just adds a nice glossy effect. Now for the basket which was my absolute favorite part, I'm using E55 and I'm just adding a little bit of dark at the top of each of these little strips. And the trick is, is just add a little bit of brown at the top of each of those kind of like rectangles. So no matter which way the rectangle is facing, do it at the top portion. And that way you're going to end up with kind of like a weaved looking effect. And it was a little bit time consuming to do it, but it wasn't too bad. And I think it really makes the card. It looks so cute and it's well worth the effort. And then I blend that out using E53. And for this part, you can kind of just color right over top of it. And it gives such a nice accent. It just looks like an actually weaved basket. It's so cool. So I'm just going to hold it up so you can see. 
And now I'm going to take the coordinating dies and add them on. So I'm taking my wire snips there and I'm just going to snip them apart. And I love this so much. You can actually bend dies apart, but when the dies are inside nested inside the other dies, it can be kind of tricky to do that. So I love these little snips so much. I highly recommend them. I don't know where they have been my whole life. I love them so much. So if you don't have those, I highly recommend them. I'll link those below as well. So now I'm just taking the coordinating dies and I'm just taking some post-it note tape and I just got this at my dollar store and it's basically just like a post-it note but the whole thing is sticky and it helps hold down the dies and then they don't move about and you can do one little zip through your die cutting machine and do a whole bunch of die cutting at once. So I'm just showing you how I'm doing this with the first die um, set. And then I'm just adding it on there for those little butterflies. And then I'm gonna run that through my die cutting machine just for the first few. And I'm just quickly showing you some of them popped out. They're so cute. Now I'm going to do that little butterfly one again. And that little basket die is so cool. It cuts out the inside of the little basket cart. It is such a nice die. I'm like totally obsessed now with coordinating dies. I cannot get enough of them. It's just so fast to cut them all out and they cut so crisply and nice. So I had so I had to show that cute little chick in that cart. And now I'm taking off the basket for the reveal. And I slow motion this part down because I was so excited. How cute is that? And it cuts out the whole inside of that basket. And then I'm just showing with the cute little bow on there. And also with one of the little chicks in the basket. So cute. You could stuff that full of chicks or put any of the other cute little bits in there that come from the stamp set. So now I'm just cutting out again that little cart. So I had the second one and I'm gonna cut out that cute little elephant. And then I'm showing you the elephant in that little cart. So cute with the bow, oh my goodness. And now I'm just gonna do those two little chicks there. And there they are all trimmed and they go so cute in that little cart, love them. So now I'm taking the rectangle die and I'm going to use the largest size and I'm just showing how I'm using the snips. See it would be so hard to like um, wiggle the die pieces apart, like to bend them back and forth. So those snips are so handy for cutting apart that rectangle die. So I'm just gonna do the largest size on this blue paper here. And then using the second largest size, I'm using this cloud paper and I'm gonna put that down vertically, or excuse me, horizontally. And then it's gonna go on there and using the same die, the second size, second largest size, I'm cutting out that green. And I want them to be the same so that I'll be able to use this grass die. So I'm just setting that on there and I'm just kind of showing you my process here of how I kind of decide how high I want that grass part to be and like where it will be dimensionally on the card. So I'm just setting that on there and so I can see how much of the cloud will show versus the grass green part. So I'm trimming that out and it will fit perfectly vertically but horizontally I just had to snip the tiniest bit on the side which was totally fine. And then I'm doing it again on the bottom so I'll be able to have two layers. And again, I just had to snip that little part off on the side and now I have two little pieces that I can match up. Now I'm taking the train track die and I use this little black colored like gray polka dot paper and it looks so cute. So I just had to pop out those little um, middle parts and there it is on the paper and I cut out two of those so that I could make it a little bit longer. So cute, I love the train track. So now I'm just taking an A2 size card base in that pretty pink color and my ATG gun and I'm going to start adhering all these pieces. So to start with, I'm just putting down this card base and then I'm gonna layer up that cute little cloud paper. And then I'm taking the grass paper there and I'm just kind of fiddling with where I want things to go so I can kind of get an idea. So I'm adhering down the grass there and then I'm gonna take my glue stick and I'm using the glue stick to glue down the train tracks. I thought that was easier than trying to use the adhesive. And I'm just snipping off how much I'll need there. And I'm just putting it down on that white piece of paper so that I don't get sticky all over my desk. And it looks so cute, I love the train tracks. 
Then I'm taking that little grass part and tucking it behind. And I do fuss with this a little bit. I just wanted to have a tiny bit of dimension there so that the grass looks um, two dimensional. And then I just trimmed off the side. So I moved it over to the side, trimmed that bit off and added it to the other side and you would never know. And now I'm going to start adhering on all the little images. So I'm putting on the little elephant in the basket and the little bow. And this is totally my favorite part. So much cuteness. If you just color up a whole bunch of these cute train images, you could make any type of scene card and just fuss around with all the bits. It would be so fun. I like loved making this card. It was definitely one of my favorite cards that I have ever made. So I'm just putting down all the little pieces where I think I'd like them to go. And there's so many different train carts and variations that you could do with these sets. And then I'm putting those little chicks at the top and the little butterflies. And I do put two little butterflies on the right side so it will kind of balance out how the big elephant is on the left. It adds a little bit more to the top right there. Then I'm going to take that really cute sentiment and I'm using the Your Next Stamp ink and I'm just adding that on there. And it says, wishing you all the joy of, of spring. Then I'm taking the Your Next Stamp gumdrops and I'm going to add them into the little wheel well. I put the largest size and the medium size and I preferred the medium size. I thought that fit better. So I put the little blue ones for the elephant and then I did a green and a purple. Those were the Enchanted Garden gumdrops. And then using the sparkling clear ones, I'm just adding some medium and small size ones just to add a little bit of sparkle and bling at the top. And I love these so much. They're so much easier than sequins because they're already adhesive and you can just put them on and they add sparkle and cuteness. So that was my project. I hope that you guys enjoyed. If you are watching this on my YouTube channel, make sure that you subscribe to the Your Next Stamp YouTube channel so you don't miss more videos like this. I love hearing your comments, so please leave a comment below. And I will see you guys next Tuesday. Bye now.